Okay guys, so welcome to a video that's going to be the first in a series of videos, hopefully, where I showcase a reel that doesn't get the attention it deserves, in my opinion, for a couple of reasons. Uh, first is the price, and then the second reason is the limited line capacity. That, of course, is the super lightweight little beast from Shimano, the Shimano Aldebaran MGL. Ever since I got this reel, I've been planning on doing this series of videos where I see if the Aldebaran can be used in the place of a spinning outfit for certain finesse techniques without going down into bait finesse territory. So the first lure that I'm going to try to fish the MGL with is going to be the lure that everyone loves to fish but are too ashamed to admit they fish it and that's going to be the Ned Rig. Now I will have to admit I've never caught a fish on a Ned Rig and let me tell you my history with the Ned Rig. Now a few years ago when the Ned Rig came out you know it was uh, the hot thing and of course I wanted to try it out see what what the Ned Rig was all about and I bought a pack of Ned Rig jig heads and a pack of TRD little finesse worms and I went to one of my favorite fishing spots where I know there's always fish there year round. And basically what happened is apparently that spot is really bad for Ned Rig fishing. It's a pretty much all rip wrap and these rocks are pretty much boulders. So the Ned Rig would go down between these rocks, get hung, and literally every cast I would get snagged and break off. And I lost all my Ned Rig jig heads. I got so frustrated. I just forgot about the Ned Rig. Now fast forward a couple of years, my cousin was uh, texting me pictures of all these bass he'd caught using the Ned Rig. So I thought, okay, let's see what this Ned Rig's about again. I'll give it another shot, but I'll, I'll go to different areas where it's a little less snaggy. So of course, the reel I was going to use was the Aldebaran 30, because normally people fish the Ned Rig on spinning gear but what rod would I use? Now I have a bunch of rods that uh, I've bought and kind of don't use so they kind of just sit there by the wayside but I found the perfect rod for the Aldebaran. Okay so let me introduce the rod that I'm going to be pairing up with the Aldebaran and this is the super beautiful super clean JDM styled and major craft MSX. Now this is not the limited model. This is the normal MSX model and this is a bait finesse model. But this is on the heavier side of bait finesse. So this is a six foot eight medium light and it's got a lure rating of one eighth of an ounce to three eighths of an ounce. And they say the rod rating or the taper on this is moderate fast and this thing is so crisp so light I think the rod weighs like 3.5 ounces maybe even less but it's so crispy that it feels like a fast in my hand so what happens when you pair up a super crispy ultralight rod with a super ultralight reel you get this beautifully balanced combo that I tell you what if anyone ever picked this up and started fishing it you'd be emptying your bank account to try to buy more of these it is so lightweight so balanced let me show you the balance point on this thing there's the balance point it's almost to the spool so the perfect balance would be right here and most combos balance out right here somewhere this balance is out right here and it feels literally like nothing in your hand this thing weighs I think about what 8.8 .8 ounces under 9 ounces so you can fish this all day with no problem at all all right so I went to one of my local lakes armed with this combo an 8 pound fluoro and let's see what happened just as expected 
The Aldebaran MGL combined with the Major Craft MSX Bay Finesse Rod handled the Ned rig pretty easily with no problem. I think I was using the 1 6th ounce jig head here and was easily launching that Ned rig at least 30 to 35 yards with just a flick of the wrist. So fishing this particular lake, I'm actually able to work the Ned rig without getting snagged and breaking off on every cast. Now there's a lot of panfish and some bass cruising around in this shallower area. And what I'm noticing is that while I can feel the Ned rig bouncing around on some of the rocks and the occasional peck of a panfish attacking it, I really wasn't feeling much else. So I'm working the Ned rig along and I didn't even realize that a bass had taken it until I could feel the tug on the line. So I try to set the hook and it puts up a pretty good fight. And I was pretty confident that I would land this fish, but then it spits the hook. Now it's only about a two pound fish, but it still would have been a nice first fish to land on the Ned rig. So after that, I fished for about another hour or so and I didn't get any more bites, at least that I could feel. So I decided to go home. So after losing that fish, I came to the conclusion that it was the rod's fault, as well as my fault, but I simply couldn't feel the fish take that lure. It was apparently it had taken the lure and it was swimming around with it, but I couldn't feel the take so therefore, in my opinion, I couldn't give it a good enough hook set. So here we are, fast forward a year later, I decided to give the Ned rig yet another try. But this time I armed myself with the most sensitive rod in my arsenal, in my opinion. That is gonna be the G Loomis NRX. Still the benchmark when it comes to sensitivity. I don't think any other rod has surpassed this rod when it comes to sensitivity and it's so sensitive that how old is this it's almost a 10 year old series of rods and G Loomis still hasn't updated the lineup okay so this combo is still super light but it's not as lightweight or as balanced as the MSX Aldebaran combo and here's the balance point for this combo as you can see but, you know, that doesn't matter. I want to be able to feel when a fish takes the Ned rig. So yeah, here we go. A $900 combo, two fish, a Ned rig. So let's see what happens. So fast forward about a year and I'm fishing the NRX Aldebaran combo on a really pretty mid-spring day. Now this particular area is a mix of riprap, 
submerged wood, vegetation, and a muddy bottom. Now the NRX Aldebaran combo casts and pitches the Ned Rig around like a normal combo would do to a half ounce jig. Now it doesn't quite cast as well as that uh, Major Craft MSX, but it does cast a Ned Rig extremely well. So with the NRX rod, I could really feel the Ned Rig hitting rocks, wood, vegetation, panfish pecks, and more importantly, I could distinctly feel a bass striking it, and then a split second later, taking it in its mouth. So because of that information that the NRX transmitted to my hands, that the Major Craft rod didn't, I knew when to set the hook, resulting in my first ever Ned Rig catch. Okay, sad to say, but this is my first ever Ned Rig fish. So not being satisfied with a little dink bass, I keep on fishing, moving around, and end up catching my second fish on the Ned Rig. Now once again, the NRX rod let me know exactly what was happening. I felt the strike, and a split second later, I could feel the bass take the lure and I felt that sense of mushiness when the bass has the lure in its mouth and I set the hook. So a few minutes later, I land an even bigger bass. So all in all, the Aldebaran can definitely easily fish the Ned Rig, something that I think 99% of anglers usually fish with spinning gear. Okay guys, there you go. Because of the G Loomis NRX, I was able to land my first Ned Rig fish. I should say Ned Rig fishes. And literally, you can feel every damn thing with this rod. I could feel exactly when the, the fish first struck the lure and I could feel when it took it in its mouth. So I knew when to set the hook. Now, I'm not saying that you need a $500 plus G Loomis NRX to fish the Ned Rig, you know, that's ridiculous. But for me, when it comes to sensitivity techniques like the Ned Rig, because the Ned Rig is such a finesse presentation, you know, a big bass will just slurp it up in its mouth and you not be able to, to feel it. Um, I think the more sensitive the rod, the better your chances are of landing those fish. So I'm going to be 
putting the Aldebaran on a different rod and we're going to try to see how it does fishing the drop shot next. Okay guys, thanks a lot.